Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. Quadratic functions, finally, new playlist. And if you want to learn more about quadratic functions, not linear functions, I still have this in my um, tank muscle memory, I don't know. If you want to learn more about quadratic functions, make sure to check out the link at the top of the description as well as the info box there. You can find the whole playlist. There's everything in there you're ever going to need on quadratic functions. So check it out, it's definitely worth it. Today, we are going to take a look at the very first parabola that you are probably ever going to encounter. It's so-called, I don't know if there's an English word for it, the normal parabola, standard parabola. It's just a regular parabola, okay, without any fancy parameters. In Germany, there's a word for it, normal parabola, that's why I thought it's normal parabola, but this doesn't seem to be a thing. But you are going to know what I'm talking about once I put it on the chalkboard. Namely, we're going to take a look at polynomial functions of the form f of x being equal to x squared. And we want to explore this tiny little boy today, tiny little bit, and we are going to dive right in. So we want to sketch this at first because this looks kind of curious. This looks completely different to our functions of the first degree, our linear functions. Hence, at first we are going to create ourselves a table of values and then plot it into a coordinate system and see how this function actually behaves when putting x values in. So we are going to make a big fat table of values and we are going to use a bunch of x values this time. So we are going to start off with 0 here and we are going to go up to 1, 2 and also 3. We need a few more values to see the beauty of this thing okay, in its whole glory. Also we are going to go the other way around to negative 1, negative 2 and negative 3 and hence we are done. Now we would like to plug the x values into this equation and see what we are going to get. And we are going to start off with the easiest one, namely 0. What is going to happen if we plug the 0 into all of our x's? I mean f of 0 is, okay, 0 into here, 0 to the second power, 0 squared, this is 0 times 0, it's nothing but 0. Okay, that was easy. Meaning our function is going to pass through the origin okay, of the coordinate system. Also it's kind of curious because this right here is going to be the zero of the function as well of normal parabola. But we are going to talk about this in a second. Okay, next up we are going to plug the one into here. So f of one is going to be one into each and every x. So this gives us one squared. One squared is one times one. This is one. That was also easy. Okay, so next up two. Two into here. So f of two is going to give us 2 squared, 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. And now, first thing, you might make a wild guess here and say, okay, all we really did all the time was take the square of our x values, which is true by definition of this normal parabola. So next up would probably be, okay, 3 squared as being the y value, which is 3 times 3, which is 9. This is good. Okay. Now we are done with the positive x values. Now let us go for the negative ones. Okay, negative <laughs> for negative ones. <laughs> you you understood? <laughs> Never mind. That was a real bad joke. We are going to go for the negative one at first. So negative one into our f. This is a tiny little bit more complicated. Let me write it out. So if we put negative one into here, mm, okay, we are going to plug the negative one into each and every x value. Please use associativity here. Parentheses. You need this because otherwise you are going to make a big mistake. If you plug negative value into x, put parentheses around it. Because if you put something like this, it would look like you have negative 1 squared. 1 squared is 1, ending up with negative 1. This ain't true. Okay? You have to put parentheses around it. Now we got negative 1 squared. So this by definition is negative 1 times negative 1. In the sets of numbers bladers, we have learned that negative times negative is going to become positive. So we are going to get positive 1 squared. Positive 1 squared. Ah. 1, 1 squared is just 1 yet again. Hmm, curious. Um, so we plugged in the negative value, so the opposite of this one, and we still got the same y value out. Does this happen to the other values too? I mean, what happens if we plug in negative 2 into our f? Um, okay, negative 2, plug in negative 2 into each and every x, don't forget the parentheses. Negative times negative is going to become positive, and we're going to end up with 2 squared. Oh, 2 squared, this is nothing but 4. Oh, this is pretty cool. I mean, we are plugging in negative values of the same absolute value, basically, of the same magnitude, but we are going to get the same y values out, meaning on negative 3, we are going to get 9 out on the other side. This is kind of curious, this is cool. I mean, you don't need to think about the negative values at all on normal parabola, because you just need to compute the positive values, and you are going to get the negative values of y for free. So, so the negative um, x values being evaluated on f. So meaning we are going to plot, uh, plot this thing now and see what it's going to look like for reasons that are kind of apparent. I'm only going to plot 
it on the positive y value because all the values that you are going to get out are strictly positive. Doesn't matter what x value you plug into here, if it's negative or positive, all the y values are going to be in fact positive. Meaning we are going to go up to 9 here on the y-axis. Meaning we are going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, cool. And here we need it up until 3 and negative 3 on the x-axis. Meaning we are going to have 1, 2, 3, and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And now we are going to put all the points into here. Like I mentioned before, the root, okay, the root of all evil, the root of the parabola, it's, it's a double root, okay, it has a multiplicity of 2. It's going to lie here in the coordinate system's origin at 0, 0. It's going to touch, okay, just a tiny little bit touchy touchy. It's going to cut through the x-axis in some way at x being equal to 0. Okay, next up, 1, 1 is the next one. Okay, it's exactly here and the counterpart is at negative 1, we are going to get the same y value out. So if we find the positive x value, we can just go to the other side, to the opposite, okay, direction, and just mark it there too. So on 2, we are going to have 4, mm, 4 is up here, meaning we are going to go to this side, here's 2, and hence we are done, it was easy, right? And now 3, 9, 3, and 9 is up here, it's going to be here, we are going to go in this direction, looks something like this. And now, before we connect points, just make sure to not do one thing, do not go like this, like kind of piecewise, weirdly, what you do is you are going to finish this up with one stroke, okay? You are only going to have a stroke once. <laughs> that sounded weird too. You are going to connect them with one swing, basically, or if you prefer, you can cover all the negative values in one stroke and then lift the pen up and start on the positive one. I'm going to try it out with one swing, okay? I'm going to try it out to make it kind of good looking and hell yeah, that looks kind of good. This right here is our parabola. Looks kind of funky, right? Looks completely different to our linear functions, but it is what it is. Here are a few things I would like to say about this function. Like mentioned before, the root is going to lie at zero. This is the deepest point of our parabola and it's the so-called vertex. What we have down here is the vertex. On other occasions, which we are going to learn pretty soon, the vertex can also lie on top of the parabola, like being the highest point of parabola. Other than that, our parabola is going to be opened up on the top, okay? Basically, you can put a glass of water into here, you could say. It's opened up to the top. Later in the game, when putting a parameter A in front, we are going to have a situation that it can be opened downwards. So, important thing, normal parabolas are always open on top. Other than that, they are also symmetric to the y-axis, meaning we can put a mirror onto the y-axis and look into the mirror and you're going to see the full parabola once looking into the mirror and on the chalkboard. This is something that's going to happen and the consequence of this is that doesn't matter if you plug positive or negative x values into there, you're always going to get the same y value out. Meaning also one nice trick that you can use is if you for example want to compute f of negative 19, you can not take a look at the negative part, but rather at the positive one, because those are going to yield the same value. So if you don't like negative numbers, you can just go for the positive values. This does work out for the normal parabola. Later, we are going to see that there can be kind of some restrictions, okay? This doesn't always hold, but for the normal parabola, it does hold. So just keep this in mind. Other than that, this already concludes the video. Just a little introductory video to the parabolas. Next time, we are going to put a spicy little parameter A here in front. Other than that, um, I have demonstrated this on the German version before. Um, parabolas are actually pretty useful. You find them in nature all the time. For example, if you throw an object, okay, it's going to look like a parabola if you take a look at the path that it's going to trace out while throwing it away. Okay, it does make something like this. Okay, it's a parabola. You are going to see this totally often. If you want to calculate the distance, okay, on the um, accelerated motion, then you're going to notice that the distance is going to grow like a parabola, for example, okay, like an x squared term. And that's basically it. We're going to take a look at some physics problems later in the game. I think that's watching. If you enjoyed this video, then like, subscribe, and comment, channel. If you, like, if you want to support the channel a bit more, buy those things I create. For example, this right here, or, or this beautiful piece of garbage that I'm having here. Okay, approximations suck dick. And other than that, thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out the main channel. Have a flamble day. Ciao.